Jesse Smollett back in the news. Jesse Smollett, the black Jewish racist that said that two guys in hoods put a noose around his neck and threw white bleach on him, bleached him white. Ah, what accusations are that? So, uh, Jesse Smollett indicted on 16 felony counts following Chicago attack allegations. Let's find out about it. So here he is, man. Fucking Jesse Smollett's legal team released a statement. Like any other citizen, Mr. Smollett enjoys the presumption of innocence, particularly when there has been an investigation like this one where information both true and false, blah, 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 who cares, right? So the Empire actor Jesse Smollett has been indicted on 16 felony counts following his Chicago attack allegations, right? And those were the allegations. Two guys in hoods, it turns out that they were that they were his homeboys. He paid them off. He he wrote them a check. They 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 this video of him uh of the two guys buying hoods and, and buying you know buying hoods in the grocery store and, and and pulling it off. There's evidence that he was talking to the guys in the elevator, right? It was a fucking scam and a ripoff, right? I called this shit two weeks ago, right? I only talked about it once, but it was obvious, right? So indicted, 16 counts. The Cook County Grand Jury indicted indictment dated Thursday and made public on Friday gives details of disorderly conduct charge against Smollett, uh, according to the Associated Press. It elaborates on the allegation that he falsely, falsely reported that he had been attacked in late January. Uh, the indictment, eight counts uh, from what he told the officer, eight counts from what he told the officer who responded to the report of the attack, and eight for what he later told the detective. So he lied to the cops, he lied to the detectives. Uh, comes a little more than two weeks after prosecutors announced one felony count. Right? So only two weeks old, the story. Uh, following the news, attorney Mark Gergara, who is representing Smollett, said in a statement obtained by Fox News on Friday that the fact of an indictment was not unexpected. Well, it's easy. They, they, what's that saying? They, that uh, that a, a grand jury can indict a ham sandwich. Right? And an indictment is not really. It's not a. Uh, it's just that it's it's. It's probable cause. Is there probable cause that a crime occurred? Right? If there is probable cause, not a not overwhelming direct evidence or anything like that, but is there probable cause that a crime occurred and a grand jury could return a, uh, a, a an answer of yes, which is an indictment? Right? Uh, we knew that there is no way they they would expose their evidence to a public airing and subject their witnesses to cross examination. The statement continued. What is unexpected, however, is the prosecutorial overkill in charging 16 separate counts against Jesse. Well, maybe not. He lied. He lied. He lied. He lied 16 times. It's not, it's not overkill. Uh, this redundant and vindictive indictment is nothing more than a desperate attempt to make headlines in order to distract from the internal investigations uh, launched to investigate the outrageous leaking of false information by Chicago police uh, department and the shameless and illegal invasion of Jesse's privacy and tampering with his medical records. Jesse adamantly maintains his innocence, even if law enforcement has robbed him of that presumption. Mm. So when the, when a lawyer tends to come out aggressively against the accusation, that's a sign that that they're going to fight this thing. They're not going to. They're not going to roll over. They're not going to accept the plea. They'll, they'll, based on that, they'll most likely see if they're soft and saying, "Oh, Jesse's a nice guy, and and he's a he's a community guy. He's an actor. He makes he made a mistake." Then then we got then we're talking about a plea bargain. But when they're venomously pushing back like that, it's an indication that we will see a trial, a fucking OJ trial, right? A spokesman for uh, Cook County attorney uh, did not immediately respond to Fox. Uh, they shouldn't be responding to Fox anyway. So, so that's that, right? So Jesse Smollett, Jesse Smollett, did he do it? Did he did he stage the whole the whole rigmarole? Did he did he make it up? Is he a racist? Right? Well, what the fuck, man? You 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 know the whole allegation is racism, right? It's it's I'm a black man, a black. I people say he's a Jew, right? a black Jew. I'm a black Jew, and someone someone put a bat, you know, put a noose on my head and called me a Negro, right? 
and 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 threw what threw bleach on me, trying to bleach bleach the motherfucker, bleach the black out of me, right? That's his allegation, right? It's fucking strong and powerful and 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 deeply, deeply racist, right? Right. So uh let's see, man. Maybe his heads are gonna roll. You know, I, I don't fucking like this story. I think it's just it's disgusting and evil, but uh He's uh, you know, he's if he did it, he's gonna get what he he's gonna get what he deserves, man. Marcus Conti reporting.